Good evening, and welcome back to Poetry Love Buzz. My goodness, there's so many of you I can barely hear myself think. So, uh, first of all, before we begin, um, there was an Englishman, Scotsman, and Irish fellow who uh, tried to get into the Olympics without a ticket. And the English fellow had an idea, so he picked up this huge metal pole. And he went to the entrance and said, <clears throat> Hello, my name is Bentley, I'm from England, and what I do is pole vaulting, and they let him in. So the Scotsman got the, uh, got the same idea, and picked up a sewer cover, and said, McGregor, Scotland, discus, and they let him in. And the Irish fellow gets the same idea, so he sees this line of barbed wire, picks it up, goes to the front entrance and says, Hello, my name is Murphy, from Ireland, fencing. So, <clears throat> anyway... <laughs> Yeah, right then. BGK, also known as Glenn Burns, from DC, a slow traveler, evolving the mental framework and vibrations, word innovator, introverted loudmouth, he has performed spoken pieces for 20 years. In 2005, he relocated to Houston and has continued to self-publish numerous books of poetry, philosophy, and comedic abstractions and observations that he feels follows consciousness where it must go. His latest works include Overflow, Good Nature, I'm in Your Area, Revenge of the Napkin Poems, and Terra. Here he is, Mr. B.G. Kim. Come on up. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Good to be back down, down south. This is called Bother to Read. You think it's something to be a man, but it's not. It's not all. It's not all that. If you can possibly be real with someone, stamina, stigmatize the moment, freeze in time. You think you're a Cold War victim? You gotta put oil in the machine. The kids are on speed again spinning in orbit around the house, crashing through the front door, and down the hall the chase is on. The one boy, he escapes back out the door, and in pursuit the latch sticks. He penetrates the window with head wound, an unsponsored dogfight. Broken glass, broken again. 911 on speed dial. It is that time again. Lying on your side saved you from a bottle of pills mixed with a bottle of booze. It's that question, like a large man's paw print, question the formation of gulls, 545, before night, and they say, listen up, float up, begin to float, head up, chin up, begin to float, that's it, that's what's up, time's up, reality kicks in, kicks your guts, kicks braces down your throat, Ties you in a sleeping bag, sets you on fire, throws you into a drainage ditch, forsakes the apostrophe, riled, riled up, time's up, on the edge of creation, with a, with a shelf life subliminal male merge, address you and me and the rest of the crew, a level playing field, lower your expectations, what's in a psychologist's alphabet soup, besides a Freudian slip, how does this fit? This evening found an evening gown draped over the rail to dry inside. These instruction manual pages, these lessons that people won't even bother to read. You need to come clean. You think the world needs another men's magazine? The idea that meditation equals exile is like getting track and field lessons from an old mare on a Stairmaster made in hell, made to forget, made locally, Four seasons, time bested, body prison, card game, conception of heaven. That's that one. Breaking people's concentration. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, what's next on the agenda here? Do you take requests? <laughs> I do. Beat red? Beat red. Which one was that in? Was that in, uh, uh, asking you? No. <laughs> uh, I, uh, be I believe it was Terra. Alright, beat red. Most of the ones I've memorized were in Terra. <laughs> My, uh, Wi-Fi is being so weird. Sorry for 
That's cool. This conversation will be continued on side B. This conversation will be repeated on cassette three. This conversation will act to liberate those who slumber. No one, first of all, wants food all dried up that's not intended to be. Generally, you appreciate peanuts dry and solid. Even the cartoon strip, the peanuts are of a humor that's only to raise one eyebrow at a time. What's that smell? Someone smoking a cess crop in the bathroom. Someone throw some tea on. Someone throw on some coffee, something, a brew, something, carrot juice, carrying all that up to the second floor with ears pricked up to these winds on a 70 degree fair end. Without a care in the world, the sun will provide light, heat, vegetation. Check the pregnancy test then, the sun with new children heading your way. Better to come off beet, red, or carroty orange than appreciate than appearance all drab, all dry, no flavor. Better to go to sleep and die, many people have said. And what if you weren't able in this instance to distinguish between that sweet release and dream, beet red? But then, if this were so, why would men, why would women convince themselves to stop their dreaming during the daytime? What quality of life are they settling for? Many are slumming it, slumming against themselves, don't know it. A headspace where you create no gods, no masters. No gods and no goddamn masters. For we are creator gods going on missions. There is news on the TV, news going on, and everything around me. Clank, clank, people's metal feet, metal people with metal feet. Is it that I go too fast? Do I go too fast? The mind is the one thing faster than the speed of light, so why are you dry? Why do you pretend to be slow? Why is talking to yourself not enough and bow down on a faith and a hope for someone outside in the snow? What's that say to the visitors and the mothership? Red rum, refrigerator hum, hum drum, when she said she was once young, dumb, and full of cum, but I was just hum, humming along on a dare, meditation of frigid air, and it's great when these toilets have on them these logos like American Standard or a little public service announcement like drug free, and some <laughs> men like to pee from a distance, they stand back there by the door, clank, clank against the lock, and a proud arc of a yellow sends up into the air of that foul little cubicle, and of course misses its destination, the toilet from A to B, more like a, maybe B, undoubtedly C and D, we shall see. What's that mean? Some men like to not care, give a care a hell, and for whatever, wherever their piss lands, it's instantly no one's business, and there is in this man pride, like missing his punk rock. I just missed the whole bowl. All this pee instead lands, the target hits the target of this logo, drug free. Everyone knows drugs are the American standard. Numbers can be turned against themselves to letters. Like you make a three into an E. E for enthusiasm, E for everything. Now how else other than being on drugs in this country can someone have thought of that? Like E for civil war, I mean E for everyone run for the hills. Three, turn an E to an R, someone run. Put a T on, put some T on, roll a J. Hold an H any which way I please. My drivers, my driving scares you, but I've seen you drive you for half pipe. Someone <laughs> passed the half life, whole life, skating on the earth edge. Once flat, now a sphere. Drop in on a stamp, grinding fear that this scroll will be interpreted into chunks instead of flow, which is not this time. But the next time, the new ones of the sun are young, dumb, red rum, off speed, offspring with better guns, beat red. She don't make them like she used to, gulp and throat, flame of fire. How do you digest all that you shovel down? How do you digest all that you shovel down? How do you digest all that you shovel down? Turn on the waterworks. Three apples make a smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Let's get into overflow a little bit. Ooh, yes. As planned. The plan is to wake and for all to go as planned without the pain involved at dipping point of center, without the curses and panic we use to sweep away charted paths and organized patterns, a list of life hacks 
realities pieced together to stick out slender, cat-like in face. You're like a young Clapton. Yo, finally fit the face to the sound down low in the blues. Existential breakthroughs, laundry runs, puncture your heart like this is paying off. Psych, psychotic, darling, daughter, dial the dialectic. Taoists who remind themselves to be in awe of surroundings of enlightenment, Gideon's giddiness, fulfillment, ligament, a light send, a godsend, your life to finish, so what to transmit, what shall we transmit? Oof. That's that one. Alright, so this next one I'm going to read is called... Gratitude. Sorry, I'm trying to be as organized as possible, but <laughs> had a rough week. <laughs> yeah. Understandable. I bow in holy gratitude for what the world offers me in abundance. Abundance is already there. You just have to notice it. You know if it's actually there. Loving, dedication, tribute, celebration, bowing and gratitude, bowing to this feeling, bowing to the notepad, to the keyboard, this cup, that car, that tree of oxygenation, that building, protecting people from crazy people at night, the harsh, the harsher earth elements and life. Shit, you don't even want to sleep out in the garage. I bow to this feeling, this current feeling and consensus, simple as an abacus, bowing in gratitude for the wilderness, the bewilderment of wilderness, or being bewildered out in the middle of the wilderness. This is how you make a dog smile. You write him a letter. You don't miss it in your lifetime. Is your life fine? Steady beating lifeline, bowing in gratitude to some random dude walking and listening to music on his way to wherever he's going, some random spot, which will turn out to be not so random after all. Gratitude for solitude, it's something that you just have to appreciate for it showing up, but let it go on its merry way when it wants. Gratitude for aptitude, the ambulance serves as a bell to bring you back to yourself, 360 degrees of yourself in 3D dimensional prevention. It's like this, it's like it's with this. Glances, last chances, pickpockets with your thoughts in their pockets. Head nods, ramrods, Cape Cod, flyer for the missing dog, bowing in gratitude. Keep trying, keep training your positive thought train to react. It is a matter of identifying where I want to go and trusting that a spiritual thirst can be quenched. Bowing in gratitude to these socks that I began to slide onto my feet. Trust the warmth. When you are young, when you're young, they ask you to choose your profession when you're busy being five. I struggle against falling asleep until it wins, and I try to be as stern as possible. I must accomplish some things first. Don't always trust the warmth. You want to transform your dwelling spot into a holy abode of conscious awareness and love? You work from the inside until you reach the outside. This is the next part, the next part of the day. We like to call it nighttime. This makes it anti-day without the sun, but the sun is shining on the other side, and there's more than one side. Don't be selfish. Interviews with Bill Murray are hella interesting. It seems that it's late in the evening now. It's only 8 o'clock. I just woke up a bit ago with sniffles. It was a long fucking nap, and I can do what I want. Working, working was fucking dumb. There are so many dumb people. My God, if God exists in that tangible sort of way that people like to push, you'd think that he would put smarter people down on the surface of his creation. Or what some <laughs> think the crime, the crime of humanity is that it turns on itself, poisons itself, kills itself. Or it's fucking dumb. I'm speaking Greek to some. My gratitude for past, present, and future is to get me some. When I ask for you to get me a glass of water, I also want for you to get yourself some. I'm speaking Greek, and I'm not even really from D.C. in the ultimate sense. And D.C. and I had to deal with each other. And we're still both afloat in some sense or form. The death toll rises as I rise out of bed to brush my teeth while they're scrubbing blood from the floors in Ecuador. Everyone is dumb somewhere. There are dumb people everywhere. They want to jump out at you in traffic. Dumb people create traffic. I don't mean all traffic all ways. What's the last time? When's the last time you've seen a drunk ass procession of ants marching to the next marching to their next discovery? Those fuckers are organized. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
grateful for those who grated on my nerves and the silence that I would get to afterwards. When you're speaking, when you're done speaking, I need to go take a shower and forget about some things. Finding a place to sit down in the light rain, a quiet invaded by the sounds of the city they only wish they could sustain. Silence reigns supreme and makes people uncomfortable. Grateful for the uprising, flip a cop car over, burn your mayor, baby steps a breath. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, finding my way back. So I'm coming back to consciousness because I fell under an object that felt like a table, but was probably the hull of a UFO hovering over the crops, scooping up the children of the corn. Nice. Very nice. Gratitude. Yeah. Price of the great, the price of the great cost. Where is it? Here. The extent of what you give me, I get the whole thing. The territory of forgiving, the waning cold dead moon, frostbitten, starved, eaten. Listen, my energy shake is my shaking body. Once I put together a table completely against my will, from IKEA, from IKEA from one of those wordless manuals. You need words to describe why this place was never really meant coming to long distance runner, long distance learning. Your diploma is in the mail. I'm screaming at your face. Thanks for teaching these depths of pain. An arm flapping out of a stretcher loosely. The loosened have unlatched, detached to unfasten. A fan blade, a hand, a hand into the fan. No hand, only fan. Are you safe where you land? All this and more, minutes ticking, months passing, accidental amnesia, convenience of blisters, facts and figures. Up next is what's left, the results. You are the father. She said she didn't think she had another abortion in her. Down from under the weight to a great height, the weight watched the test, the taste of a test. The must, the plus, the precautionary, complimentary call, forewarned, you could have been a stillborn, now you gotta work it off, now you gotta shake it off, the price of the great cost, climbing to the top, and falling off, pissed off, holy quagmires, left for dead, listening, this here, death and theft, but not theft of death, death is front row to our mess, death collects checks, bulletproof vest to impress, whatever's left. <laughs> okay, let's move on to new stuff. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I'm writing a book called Next Age, which some people know about. And I've read some of that to you guys so far, last time around. Mm -hmm. So... This will be newer, newer stuff. Ooh. I hope. <laughs> this poem is called Sawing the Head Off at the Shoulders. Mm. Maybe y'all heard this one, but it's good, because uh, I wrote this shit. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> For a while. Starving nature comes for you. Sit still for a while. So can Buddha nature. The sound of cars passing these audible care packages, automobile wholeness, natural exploitation, plastic growing out of the soil, chemical cleansing, hyperbolic injection, do easy, clear cut, yes ma'am, gentle calculation, sore throat, sawing the head off at the shoulders, head and shoulders sting children's eyes. Even large children need baby shampoo. Maybe there are 20 things about your friend that offend you. If you take, if you take these things into isolation apart from the person, this is where you would unburden and lose your mind, fall back on savage ways. All the tools in the bloodshed go on back. He's out in the bloodshed. Get his kicks. 
getting his kicks. This is where 20 other things about your friend spring to mind. Things that you can relate to inspire. Open you to the universe that is this person. It is the same with you. For them, they can't exactly place why sometimes it all clicks. Sometimes it doesn't. We stand up, we sit down, change positions, go at it. This is called uh, Theft on Lilac. It was a cold attack. It was a cold attack, dead of 10 o'clock. Up goes the garage door with the push of a button, and the door into the hallway stands wide open. Our headlights shine into the pitch black home, invaded by a van. Men who came in breaking the back window, contents turned up on their heads, drawers pulled out drapes, torn down parts of the dining room, scattered into the kitchen with kitchen island tipped, a crack in the ceiling revealing swamp waters, and now whoever can come crawling across this broken seal and reveal themselves here, for here is human desire converted to despair. Whomever deserves it most, no one knows how we barb the wire, the psyche, but we know to expect it and respect expecting it. Mm. I wrote a poem that I read to you all called A Poem About Nothing, and this is the revision of it. Ooh. It's a longer one. <laughs> shorter, slightly shorter now. <laughs> and I'm going to mow through it because this is a mowing poem. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so let me pause. Yeah. So I've been talking a lot to a lot of people about uh, my writing. They are thrusting their opinions on me about my writing, so therefore it's what it is. They're <laughs> saying, you're angry, you're, you know, you're, you're an angry pr uh, person. And so... Um, or your poems are angry, but you yourself seem a little different than that, so you're almost like a different person from co compared to the person who you are as, you know, performing, and, uh, what, you know, like, what's going on with that, or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I think that, yeah, I got a lot of deep down anger, uh, and what happens is that um, it helps me a lot to actually write about it, and by writing about it, uh, it frees me, it frees me up, and I actually become a little bit less of an angry person, maybe more of a decent person, uh, and everybody else gets kind of pissed off when they read it, I guess. I don't know. You can't win! You can't it's hard win. to win! <laughs> Home about nothing. You do you, senor. So is it the top? Is this the top? Where you want to be? Like, if they asked you a question so small-minded, you could even see it. If you could even see it, if you asked yourself to be honest, then in time, I'm a running man, all grown, all hard work, kept honest and clean. This is something that you're going to want to see hundreds of years of possibility from now. How we glow so bright, we start to float. Nothing is missing. This is something clover, a sign dripping with wet paint. With wet paint. No time like piss ants, giving away what is unsaid. Other body parts from the body shop, like you learn to start working on cars. Small animals run across these rooftops, chased by larger ones. Remembering the days in school, we were just about as small then. Learning new things about myself for as long as I can stay awake. And then some, and then some, stay handsome. Perhaps a little bit country, without realizing it until you do. All this time, there have been this alternate version of me and you. And a text that never reaches, just blame it on the midnight government shutdown. You want to know... <laughs> more about how you can do more what for you've already done enough and no one's asking is this where you want to be accomplish everything in sign writing after bold events stop you dead in your tracks stuck stuck struck by winter wonderland lightning wine stained pursuits psychic call-ins lint and navel landsides your religious upbringing unhinged jesus swinging on a keychain helping you sell houses Growing out, growing old enough to know better. So now we're knowing better. The voting booth is the red alert. What happens before an emergency? My pills. Go and get my pills. I got 41 days left to write. My diary is a journal. An introduction to the even, to the uneven parts sold quickly out a door. They, the years came and went, and there was an explosion. Men jumping out of a different kind of explosion, going to bed on one side of this city. 
Now you're just showing off how many knives you own, upgrading to gunpowder, acting tougher mm. than you actually are. A tired samsara story, you and your hell, all exceptions, all excuses, all these extensions of cave paintings, natural, digital, original, hospital, gown. What have you got there, Brazil and its daughters, from countrymen worried over a fire of a self in warm water simmering to a shimmering boil, your role as consumer after work, human longevity, although in the incubator of all health, still experiencing loss and disproportion in others, which is the thing in place of, which is to replace one thing for another. The new needing breathing room, the old having to face, stopping to breathe in place, this stop stag, what you see isn't always what you get, stop gap, a convenience store in the country called piss and get, never mind gas, piss and get, something at the counter and get on, go on and get to going, sensitive enough to spell sensitive correctly without any help or roadside <laughs> assistance, sensitive enough, god damn it, so piss and get, should you not be pee shy, lucky enough to be alive, to see this next age, and perhaps grow with someone new to you. Now that I have your undivided attention like the answer man, holding the question, black robe, father death, with sickle, Fibonacci spiral, staring at your neck like she wants a baby, <laughs> maybe, wants you, maybe, wants an answer, maybe, staring into the eco-turn of society and inward Saturn rage, released onto a truck, rattling before me, Realize for what it is, broader scope, and sneezing a hole into the end of January, and witnessing the palms of River Oaks, the clearing, the bend that Shepherd headed north, the curved snaps of Allen Parkway conjoined to the industrial highways of I-45, of I-10, of I-59, becoming I-69, and moving forward into the journal, the discipline therein, locking it with a key as thin as tin. This is as it should be, in the clearing, cleaning all the spots off the dishes in the china cabinet. Clearly, we give more thought to just how much we are leaning on others around us emotionally, falling forward, and resentment builds. It doesn't help. It doesn't help if you don't stick around to talk about it. This entire archetype is suspect as far as I can see, lost in the flow of a single sentence, a man talking without an end in sight until it all becomes obvious, since Seinfeld is a show about nothing. I mean, what do you do today? I went to work and ate a seaweed club at lunch, and then I came here. You see, that's a show. That's a poem about nothing. That's the chapter. That's just the moment in this time. So you have to snatch that back, these moments of time, for your own sanity, while, maybe meanwhile, maybe while doing so, writing it down is just proof that you tried. Fear of missing out is stressing out over somewhere you think that you have to be, which is at the heart of materialism, listening with the correct ear to video proliferated viral along the Oregon Trail, a power spike silent, as calm as silence, without, with loving intention, no fruit forbidden, inhibitions and boundaries, meeting with each other to discuss where this is going, a man taking lunch to work, taking work home with him for dinner, the closing chapter for your loved ones, and you try to be there for them as you want this for yourself. All arguments aside, humans, animals, insects, microbes, pockets, envelopes, and cutthroats, all searching for the antidote. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, of course, you know. Of course. <laughs> I have a little checklist. Not that I'm going to go through. Okay. Um, more from Overflow. This is called Bird Song. Wonderful. The love connects two for two. Locusts spell it out in the sky. And you tell me why. Ten at a time. How you feel. A drill in a skillet. Love construed as sex. A skilled master and di disciple. The cold heartedness and indifference. People strive to avoid or stamp out what they consider different. Due diligence. 
complicate things into a ball of laundry you're staring at, starving, startling the neighbor, off guard, lost, unclear eyesight, waning, no sight of pests or household pets. It's long and long gone, it's lost and long gone now, for the best even, your holiday indoors, four doors of a sedan, lively on the scene, a toddler ween, looking, multiple screens, helping, not helping, shutting doors of opportunity, giving opportunity to automations, sophisticated ways of holding up corporations, got this down pat, the monthly bill builds an inferiority complex, maybe, I couldn't tell you for sure, but saw it under a bridge, saw it happen, when I was looking, flipping around, wandering and wanting adventure, seeking out in the worst way possible, you can even get a paper cut on a blade of grass, which is stunning, blue blood, now red, glisten, which is why it's fascinating to listen to people speaking to themselves, speaking to worlds, very real to them, laughing at the bars and mental prison, sliding through the bars, no more prison, close your eyes, reopen, all worlds matter, but you already knew this from early on. Upward blue sky cut in the spirit of telling it like I hear it. I'm high and I'm on fire, walking the high wire, feeling haywire. The super smooth pale skin ripe for burn, the sun globe shaking its head. You're wet behind the ears now, aren't you, son? I'm hay boss on the sidewalk, that type that you can't, that can't even spare an extra dollar. No, I can't spare a fragment. Some people die from holding hands. A handful of firecrackers pretends it's lightning, thunderous existence. Sensitive lady, sensitive lately, or is everything raw for a reason? Turn the lights down, it is time. Blur the imperfection. I know I hurt you, but I'm hurting now. I'm easily susceptible to cults. It's just a quirk in a personality. This decade, I'm a pyramid. No shade, blisters in the southern shade. Blisters, blistering away. It isn't everything, but... Isn't everything a funeral for your potential? Air for tires, it's travel. I'm expanding my heart. It's possible to be the best person possible before the unravel, before the unravel, before the unravel. Thank you. Let me know what my time frame is like because I'm trying to <laughs> pace everything along. Oh, of course. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, you have time for maybe two, two or three more. I'm going to read one from a book I wrote a long time ago. Um, uh, this book I wrote called uh, She's Hardly Recognizable Now. And... Wait, that, w that was an early one? Yeah, that's an old book I put out. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, it looks like it might be new. <laughs> but it's an older one, actually. Huh. Years before... I, I put it out in Houston. Okay. But in my beginning years of Houston. Oh. Like reading it not so well. However, it does have some DC poems and stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Like it's. So this is a DC poem. It's about anger. Uh, it's about the workplace. It's about traveling to the workplace, to and fro, back and forth, to and fro. To and fro is a cool way to put it. <laughs> transient. Transient? That means stuck. Stuck out there. Mm hmm. Are stuck in there. Mm -hmm. Stack of dead people. This is going nowhere this morning. I woke up sick and scrambled around until I was awake, and here I am on the train back into the rotten core. All jobs are like apples rot. Slavery exists large and tall. Sit down and be small. Make you look like a stack of dead people. Look busy find something to do. Six second smile rule. You're that sandwich maker, sandwich artist, sandwich demolitionist. You're that videotape rewinder for all those people who forgot. You don't dare fall asleep, although it's all you want to do. You take a spray of bullets, you get up, you get back up, and you keep walking towards me in zombies. I'm just taking notes. Unique capacities dry up, numb, feeling, feeling sunlight change everything fall in the evening the lights on in a little town i don't believe in god not existing so stop pressing don't be the weak one let them be the weak ones i i can hear the dolphins time is running out time is running out my walkman can beat up your walkman <laughs> never enough time can't buy the time back narrow space
trying to make you think you deserve this, make you look like a stack of dead people, make you think you should be put in a box under the bed. Reality TV gives boring shit people something to talk about, gives them ammunition, gives you a headache, gives otherwise untalented newspaper readers some recognition, gives you more office culture to plug up your ears to in the rain. In the rain, keep raining. I don't care. I'll never mow that lawn again. I will never mow that lawn again. I want the house to be lost in it. I'll be right here where you can't find me. Like a Masonic temple, like a Masonic temple. All the things that I want get lost in the mail. I don't trust this train completely. It is completely independent of my desires. This germ goes through the end of you until it's through. Notice that headache for what it really is and embrace it. I think in different thoughts like hyperventilation code while you flake off like a dead fern. Poor man's movie remains in poor man's head. Yo, you kill off the main star. You're pulled, you're pulled off the edge of the bed by dead people. Where I work, patience is an artifact. I insist, though, the goodness is still in your stupid heart. Where I work, small things ruin a whole day. You start seeing nothing is small anymore. I see Prince Michigan as a subtle hero, the idiot as singular, as in one mass, all idiots blind to themselves. But we can change this after everything. After everything, I have to sift through this, sift through it on the train, while a quarter full Coke bottle rolls into everyone's feet. Someone picks it up and goes, is this yours? Is this yours? Is this yours? Get that dizzy shit out of my face. <laughs> damn Americans. Damn Americans. <laughs> You're trapped in your anger. This is what I become because this is what I've become. I emulate the result of everything unnatural so that I am close to it. Because if I said what I really wanted, I'd be even closer. And I hope and I pray so that I am closer. Slice roaches out of my veins so that I am closer. Drink water instead because I am closer. You learn your psychology in a special way. And you don't have to pay for textbooks and 101 courses. But poor slaves in the future, wrecked by desire, created their own demons and accelerated to their doom. Destruction of memory of all that was pure. Recyclable newspaper to destroy the earth with more recyclable newspaper print. It is the print that is killing us. Their sports columns, their bitter movie reviews, as if they could write anything more more than an effective tampon commercial. <laughs> I can write one of those. And I can write better with nothing in mind than they can with everything in mind. And still I'm nowhere, nowhere I want to be. I'm burning like a stack of dead people until I say I'm not. Oof. Yeah. All right, let's see. So, let's go into Terra. Ooh. If you don't have any particular ones in mind, I do. <laughs> Stuff in mind, but what is, awesome. oh, what is on your mind? You're dead soon. That one, huh? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Page... 70... Somehow, I mean, you've got to ask me. <laughs> Show us the one you had in mind first. The one that I had in mind? See. Technology about as fun as a migraine sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I, I am uh, scatterbrained tonight. <laughs> Just screwing it up. Uh, you can hit pause. Or <laughs> Been a while. I did this one. <laughs> Someone once said the universe just held its breath for a second. That was a minute ago. Now I'm drinking water. Now I'm drinking coffee, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. It tastes great. Life is greatly strange. Anyway, today I was writing, so now I'm going to read some. The term hip-hop is used how I use punk rock, but really it's the revolutionary act. So when you remove the labels, you just have the thing itself, the action, the energy, the energy behind the entity, the intention, the fruit salad. Pick out what's between the lines. Where do you want to go today without those limits? Memories of a better time, hopeful for a future, to survive. Is this what you're good for? Good for nothing, son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You son of a witch. It's do or die. Everything does. Everything dies. Witches are like a box of chocolates. You never know which witch you're going to get. 
broomsticks edible, capable of generous launches past full moon where sky is clear, you can hear they're screeching up there with the jet liners. Some get deaded up into those engines, same fate as the high flying birds. Everything is at risk, everywhere is dangerous. The jocks come in smiling, but you know they want another random fight. They'll try to solve their problems that way. They don't know what their problems are. Your wounds are following you. Remove these reasons and we're back to talking again. You're an asshole. Here's why. Your group, all of you, you're all assholes. Here's why. And to the cheerleaders, I did say this insight. I did say this insight is that I truly did one of most of you. Uh, just was, the time you just was just not right. <coughs> Can you all, you jocks and cheerleaders, hear what I have to say? Can you? Are you okay? I want to bring it down more a bit now. These hours grow heavier with worry. I'm freaked out, mental, sentimental, and blurry. Dude, come on. You don't really know where you're from. The big blast will strip away beyond your skeletons, your skeleton and ligaments. Your labels are falling off the paintings off the walls. The paintings are falling off the walls. These walls catch the fire, decay. They catch the blast. Dude, you're dead soon. Everything gets faster. Every violence known to man dashes into your neighborhood. Face it. Fess up. If might truly does make right, would there ever be a single revolution? I'll follow you into the fire. Hell, 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 hell. I'll go first. I will follow you on in. Hell, hell, hell. He, watch what he's Watch, he's going in first, going on in, deciding to take the risk. You can't control the heat. You can only nudge it, guide it along in the right direction by increments of time, of our time, of our timeline. Kind of depressing when you think about it, the big time. Depressing. The cure for these munchies is popcorn. Having a pretty girlfriend to be distressful with. It is okay. It is okay. It is gone. And you'll be dead soon. Ooh! Alright, let's find... Good closer. <laughs>